Hello and welcome to Skyblock on the Leechcraft servers with me, the most of you are. Okay, Mr. Sarrett. I've done a fair bit of work around here, as you can see. Got a little tiny farm going on here, which I haven't actually harvested for a little bit. Maybe I should quickly grab a little bit of this here. Plenty of carrots. Was living off carrots for a while, I'm mostly just living off melons now. I've uh, got some potatoes as well. Potatoes, they were my food of choice on, well, pre 1.7.2 or whatever it was. But now, now it's melons. My favourite foods. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a few chests kind of just all over the place. I don't really have a uh, proper area to set up to organise all these. These ones here are food related. Got raw beef, some chicken. Of course, all the food you've seen there. My charcoal collection and saplings. I've got rid of... I did have this island here. It was my, my tree farm. I've got rid of it. That's because... I can't actually use that for another hour, 11 minutes. <laughs> I've used it recently. Kit wood. Uh, I do have the kit wood, which you get with VIP. So yeah, I have actually upgraded to VIP status on the server. Very tempted to go to Hero, if only it wasn't so far from payday and so many builds coming in this month, it seems. Cars. Cost a lot of money. <laughs> the insurance due. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with this server really. Let me just grab some of these. I've got so many brown ink sacks, as they're called, <laughs> the uh, cocoa beans. I don't really come and harvest these too often. This over here took a lot of my time, mostly just going around finding dirt. Now I actually made sure all this was naturally spawned grass. It was not um, world edited in. It was not uh, grass blocks. Blocks of grass that have been sold as grass blocks as opposed to dirt blocks. This was all dirt and the grass did have to creep over here and spread across. I have no reason to have done that really that I'm aware of. I'm just hopeful that it might make a little bit of a difference because there is issues with mobs, passive mobs, spawning on the server. They've more or less been... Well, they're not turned off. They're, they still, they're still there. They've just been made... Um, well... Rare. And also, once they do spawn, they disappear. But the only way to keep them is to get, have a spawner or spawn eggs. Chickens are one of the only exceptions. You get some chicken eggs as opposed to actual spawn egg. They will stay around. They will stick around. But yeah, cows, sheep, pigs, all that. They despawn if you walk. It's about 16 blocks, I think. I can't remember if it's 16 or 32 blocks away. So you don't have to move too far, and all of a sudden they just disappear. Doesn't matter what you've done with them. Doesn't matter if you tried to breed them or have, you know, shear them or anything like that. They just disappear. They're getting a bit of lag at the moment. Yeah, man. Melon. I do have a lot of melon, so really I don't need it, but... Yeah, this farm over here, I guess the eventual goal with this, once I can afford enough dirt, is probably to extend this up and have several levels of it. I wouldn't mind making it an automated farm. I do have an idea for a semi-automated wheat farm. Actually, I could use it for wheat, potatoes, and carrots. But you're probably going to have to go pistons if you want all these here automated. And iron, I don't have iron. Iron seems to be quite rare. 
quite expensive too. I just went to a shop that was advertising that they had it. And they were selling it for something ridiculous like 300. 300 piece of iron. Now, pre pre restart on the server, you'd get it anywhere from about 25 up to about oh, sort of 50. I think around 40 would have been the average price that iron sold for. But at the moment, because there's so few people with their villager spawners, or, well, yeah, their villager spawners and their golem farms, iron's really quite rare. So I think that may have to be. I I wouldn't mind getting the shop up and running next, but I think I may actually have to get my iron going just so I can get the shop, as well as a few other little bits and pieces done. And I'll show you the rest of the island. I'll just drop this stuff here. Whoa! Okay, I have lagged off the edge with my buckets and lost them all. They're buckets I had to go and buy. Uh, yeah, a bit of, bit of lag lately. Not sure where it's coming from. Let's get rid of you. And... Let's... Grab, let's grab two stacks. No, you know what? Let's grab three stacks of sugar cane. And turn it all into paper. I really didn't grab three stacks. All right, whatever. Uh, what else do we have here? Got a bit, oh. The cocoa. Yeah, a little bit of nether wart. Just a little bit. My soul sand is... it's depleted. I have no idea where it went. I do know where it went, actually. I, when I was over there laying it all out, the, the track that I have of netherwort, laid it all out, put the netherwort down on top, ran over here, lagged the way back over here, turned around, had a look, and it was all gone. <laughs> it disappeared. There's been some funny things happening on the server. Too sure what's going on. Might be linked to well, uh, there are there has been a lot of bugs with the latest update, which is of course not the server's fault. Coalstone generator. I don't use it too much now. This here is all reasonably new to you guys, and you can't see it all at night, unfortunately. But what we've got, we've got Mushu Mushu spawner. We've got cactus farm, auto cactus farm, auto egg farm, which I also use to kill eggs, uh, eggs, kill chickens. We've got mushrooms, we've got gold farm, and we've got mob grinders. Let's have a little look. So I actually started off with this room down here. This was all bare of mushrooms, which is dark room. Not really a dark room anymore, I've got torches in here. Mushrooms are still growing though. And I was using this to m early on to get a few mobs to spawn on my island so I could kill them. I had quite a lot of success until a lot of other people were also getting to that point. Unfortunately, yeah, it became less useful. At that point, I finally got myself nether portal. Now, this nether portal was the first in this region which meant everybody that tried to go back through their nether portal from the nether came to my portal which is why there are doors there because and they're backwards, that's a new glitch with uh, the latest update yeah, it's it stops people from coming onto my island and doing whatever they want now, whoa Oh, nice. Uh, it seems somebody is killing mobs and... killing them through the portal. Uh, that's alright. I just came through and collected myself. Nice little hall. Not too bad. Right, this is not where my portal originally started. What's happened is... 
a lot of players have gone around and well, you can see there's water over here or you may not be able to see but there is water over here in the nether now emps empresses and emperors on the server they get special powers including world edit it's world edit I almost went and started whacking those then I mean a big problem it's world edit from your inventory so they can't just create things you have to have it in your inventory but yeah they've been going around and well, <laughs> causing havoc in here and right now my portal, my original portal, the original portal in this area it's been um, stolen sort of <laughs> they stole it stole bits of it at any rate this is it here you don't actually need a portal home because you just type sla or slash home and it'll take you home but yeah this here wasn't all just big empty space there wasn't water everywhere it, uh, yeah thankfully I did manage to get in and get a few bits and pieces before the locusts came through let's go home in the nether people can kill you it's a pvp area they uh, shouldn't but they do and I have had it happen thankfully lost nothing but a few stone pickaxes I did say, oh over here, this is my new chicken breeding farm There's a bunch of chickens in there laying eggs into a hopper of course, that hopper cost me a fortune as well which puts me into here gives me my eggs and I'm transferring them over to here let's grab that paper should want that, that's for the cactus which up here it's a simple enough design, I'm sure everyone understands how this works Basically, it's just cactus on sand block, of course. Cactus can't be next to anything. So if you just put a block not on the same level as the cactus, but the next one up, if the next block up, if it tries to grow, as soon as it does grow, it'll be next to another block. So it pops off into the water, into the hopper. So I'm using my chickens as a made a cactus farm as well might have to extend this as well sand is not cheap on the server it's it's an item that is very hard to come by all right this here is actually my newest structure and you've probably just seen what was in there bunch of hoppers and a chest with a lot of cooked steak few books and a bit of leather. Let's make ourselves some more books. I have a feeling they may sell quite well. A lot of steak. This I have. I've only had this going for probably oh, 20 minutes, and I've got a stack and a quarter already. It's a v oh, I actually collected that then. Very simple system. At the moment, it is not as ideal as I'd like. I am going to. Well, it, it's working quite fine now, but I may end up adding pistons to it. It just depends. I've played around with the pistons. Sometimes they get stuck on the cows and it causes problems. So this may actually be one of the the better ways. Oh boy. Um, you shouldn't be up here. <laughs> right, so yeah, we've got ourselves a Mushroom Spawner here. These things, you can buy them off other people if they're selling them. The only way to introduce them into the server is to pay real money. A couple of grass blocks up here. Let's just block this off. Now this here is a block I removed just as a just testing earlier, so I imagine there is a block there. Yeah, but mushrooms or any kind of passive mob, they need the grass in order to spawn on. 
So these guys are not going to spawn anywhere except for around these edges here. You can die. Thank you. Down under these trapdoors is a bit of lava. The lava is sitting on top of some signs. And what happens, because mobs can walk across these trapdoors when they're when they're open like that they think that there is an actual block there so they will eventually they sometimes will stay up here for a bit but they'll eventually walk across and fall in the hole on the way through they will catch on fire they'll take a bit of damage once they hit the ground and then they will more often than not die from burning when they die from burning you get yourself cooked beef instead of raw beef mm. so yeah these guys here all three they will eventually just walk straight in and we'll end up with a bit more cooked beef and they do drop leather that way you wanna come in? come on if I had some wheat I'd coax him over and get him to do it for you come on oh 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 let's just push him in there you go there you go. <laughs> a little bit of... A little bit of steak for myself. And whilst I'm up here... Do I have torch? Oh, I don't have torches. Alright, I'm going to have to come back up here and put some torches here. Cause clearly, the not-so-nice mobs can spawn up here. Get down there. Get down there. You don't actually have to stand up here and knock them down. They, they do fall in themselves. Ooh. But if you do knock them down, like that, and you come down here, you will have a bit of experience that you can pick up. There you go. Grabbed it then. Alright, how much have we got out of that? Uh, yeah, not doing too poorly. Not doing too poorly at all. Right, now... Mushroom, they keep spawning up the top here. Don't really have an issue with it. They can do that if they like. Let's move back and we'll have a look at what we've got here. Now, I built myself this bottom mob spawner and it worked quite fine to begin with. I got onto the server almost as soon as it restarted. And there wasn't as many mob spawners or mob grinders. It's very simple, sta stock standard design. There wasn't many of them on the server, so it was producing fairly well. Unfortunately, mob rate, mob spawn rate has been turned down just to prevent lag. So once a lot of other people got their spawners up, it stopped working so well. Done a little bit of research and found out that mobs generally still will spawn, but only above a y-axis of 200. So I've, I ended up building a second mob spawner, mob grinder, up the top there. And it's not doing too poorly. This is an all my mob... My mob uh, bits and pieces. I've got another chest over there of them. You do have to be relatively close, so I generally... Oh, I've got some, some rotten flesh. Generally I stand sort of up here on the ladder. Oh! Well, there you go. And we just proved that it works by dropping a zombie pigment on my head. Now, I haven't been able to afford all the hoppers that I need for this just yet. There is a block just above my head with a, with a bone on it. Okay. Now, that is there because I, I was standing up here a number of times. And I'd walk away for two minutes, come back, and I'd be dead. Because a mob would fall on me, and it wouldn't die when it fell on me. And then it would end up killing me. So yeah, that block there is temporary until I can get the hoppers all going. Alright. Oh, can see the mushroom in there. We'll head on up and have a little look at how I've got it up here. It's kind of a mess at the moment, to be perfectly honest, but it is functional. So it was just my stock standard 
set up down in there for my mob grinder. There is a skeleton in there at the moment, I can hear it. Water on top just because mobs don't spawn on water with a few torches around the side to prevent them spawning around there. Could have just put torches down, but I didn't want to. Water's much cheaper and easier. This up here is new-ish. I've done this yesterday. And this is a much, much larger gold farm. And there goes zombie pigmen right now. I've done the maths a little bit better this time around. Managed to get this water section here to run pretty much perfect. Wherever they go, they are going to go straight in. There is no little water going over the edge. Those signs, they don't actually need to be there. I whacked them there before I was sure though. And you go, yep. With my previous one, the water just went a little bit over the edge and that's why there were signs there on my last spawner, my last grinder. And that did mean that they could just bob up in the air, just above the area for a little bit. Sometimes they could bob there for quite some time before they fell in. But I've done a little bit better with my maths and um, yeah, we've got full coverage. Now to get up from here. This gold farm is just a little bit larger than my previous one. In fact, I haven't done the maths, but my last one was three high. This one is one, two, three, four, five. I lost count. I can't believe that. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. Five high. Last one was three wide. This one is five wide. So it's a fair bit larger. Not necessarily producing a great deal more gold, but it, it's working. It's doing a good job. This cost me a lot. It actually, the obsidian was quite expensive trying to get a hold of this much obsidian or the, the nether brick here, that was easy enough, I just found myself a fort now yeah, the fortress started collecting a bit of it I also, obviously got quite a lot of it you can cook up nether rack and you get bricks like you do with clay four of them together will make your block of nether bricks so you've got nether brick and nether bricks yeah the most Probably the most expensive part of all this was actually the flint and steel. Flint, in the first couple of days, because everyone was trying to get to the nether, and the only place to get flint is in the nether, people were selling it. Well, it's actually in the marketplace, the server market, for 2000 You start on the server with 500 Yeah. So, the first people that went did manage to get to the nether and collected themselves a bit of flint, made an absolute killing very early on. Iron was the other thing. Iron is not yet, or was not, abundant at that point. Which meant flint and steel to light all these was quite expensive. But we got there in the end. If we go up the top here, it's pretty much a, it's not quite a carbon copy of the mob grinder below us. And you're probably not going to be able to see much because it's the middle of the night and I didn't bring torches. Of course I didn't. Um, hmm, let's see. I can barely see so I'm sure you can't see on YouTube. I don't know if that made it... It's still quite dark, but... Maybe you'll be able to see. Yeah, basically... I have... The standard cross channels... Going to a hole in the middle. But I've also got... A... Extra channel... On the sides here. This here can spawn spiders. I do get quite a bit of string out of this. Let's just... Oh, yep. So it's, it 
this this grinder here does quite well. Up on top, mobs shouldn't spawn on lower slabs, or at least they never used to. But I've also just left a little bit of water and some torches up here. More because I had the bucket of water at the time I had to get rid of it. Not really because I needed it there, but... I don't know. Flying water. I don't mind it. Ooh, nice and dark. Let's go back home. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, so we are getting quite a bit of... mob parts. <laughs> Uh, more egg and cactus. It's not my only cactus. This is my only eggs. I have been killing chickens. Oh, it's been away, so it hasn't actually. Oh, there we go. When you're too far away, it does not work. So you do have to be pretty close. But when you are close, you only have to be here for 15 minutes, and you just it just piles on. So yeah, not too too worried about my beef. Oh wait, just got myself a nugget. Nugget, an arrow, and some rotten flesh. Here you go. Here you go. Very nice. Oh, one more, and I can make my third ingot. Yeah, so we're we're um, we're in a good place. I've seen something behind there. We're in a pretty good place. We've got our villager. Well, I'm not going to say spawner, but breeder, I guess. I need to get that one started so that I can get some iron farming going. Sounds strange saying that, but yep, iron farming. That's what we want. And we also want a shop set up. I'm very tempted to set up a basic little shop just to start bringing in some cash. But um, I don't know. I want to. I've got ideas. Quite grand, probably a little bit too grand to be honest. I just have to. I don't know. I'll. I'll have to have a think about it and see what I come up with. It. it whichever way I go, it's going to need a lot. Of resources to make this. Thinking with my kit wood, wood kit, kit, kit wood, whatever it is, I um, probably should build the framework in wood and then decorate it with other blocks just to make it look nice for the public but pretty average for myself. I mean all this here looks pretty average too but anyway that is where I'm at with my island. Coming along quite nicely, I think. A bit more to go, but we'll get there. The sooner I get my shop up, clearly the better money-wise I'll be. But that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have any ideas or comments, just general comments, leave them in the description or below the description always happy to read comments you are going down yes and I'm going to give myself a bit of experience from that if you have enjoyed a like subscribe leave a comment much appreciated and I may see you on the server may see you next episode thanks for joining me bye bye